this is going to be a sales call that I'm going to do. I'm going to record it, see what happens. Maybe we talk about good stuff. Maybe we don't. Figured I'd record it, upload it to YouTube if it's worth your guys' time. Sorry, it's not the best camera quality. I'm recording on my laptop. Audio might be bad, but we'll see what we talk about. Hey, this is Zach Pastorello. Uh, I'm not sh um, I'm from Harrisburg Bookkeeping, but you actually scheduled a meeting with me on my calendar. Okay, real quick, I wanted to stop the video there because this video actually didn't start the way I usually like to start my sales calls. And let me tell you exactly how I start my sales calls because it can always be a little bit awkward. So I always start off by saying, hey, this is Zach Pascarello. Super simple introduction. Hey, this is Zach Pascarello. They usually say, oh, hey, how's it going? And then I usually follow up with, good, how are you? And they say, I'm good. And then this is kind of an awkward point in the conversation. The first five seconds are done. You've introduced yourselves. You've asked how you're doing. And now what's next? This to me is very important because you want to have a rehearsed follow-up question because you don't want that awkward five-second pause where you're kind of trying to figure out what to say next. So here's what I always ask, and I'll explain why I ask this. I immediately always ask, is now still a good time to talk? And I ask that because I want them to feel like I care about their time. I respect their time. This is a sales call, so I'm not trying to be pushy. I'm not trying to be annoying. I want to remind them that they want to talk to me. This is a good time for us to talk. So it kind of puts everybody in a positive mindset, and it frames our mindset for the upcoming sales call. And then finally, here is the last thing I say. Okay, so they usually know exactly what they need and why they're calling you, probably because they need bookkeeping help with their business. So I always say, I say, hey, good, how are you? Is it a good time to talk? And then the fourth thing I say, tell me what you have going on. And this opens up the floor for them to talk for the next five minutes. And I promise you, if you're feeling uncomfortable in the sales call, as soon as I say, tell me what you have going on, they're going to list out five of their problems. And here's where you need to listen carefully take notes and be prepared to solve their problems. So whatever they tell you that they have going on is more than likely a problem that they have with their business. So you need to be prepared to solve their problems and basically persuade them and explain to them why they're going to hire you. Okay, let's get back to the sales call. Do you need bookkeeping and taxes or just taxes or just bookkeeping? Okay, so I can tell you a little bit about what I do and, and how I work and what I charge. So basically I do, I primarily do your bookkeeping and then I partner with a CPA and he does the taxes. And when it comes to your bookkeeping, I actually work exclusively with QuickBooks online. I don't work for QuickBooks, but I only use their software. I only use QuickBooks online. So if you did want to work with me, we would need to make that transition from desktop to online, but it's super simple and I can, I can walk you through every single step. And from a bookkeeping perspective, I basically do three things. I categorize your transactions, I reconcile your accounts, and I generate your financial statements. That way, at the end of the year, you're completely ready to file taxes with my services. And for the categorizing, I do that on a weekly basis. So if you were my client, I would assign you a day of the week. Let's just say, for example, Thursday. Every single Thursday, I would log into your QuickBooks account, and I would categorize your transactions from the most recent seven days. And that way, it's just the easiest way to do it. If I ever have any questions, I can just send you an email every single Thursday. You know it's coming. And also, the the transactions are fresh in your mind. So if you went to the ATM on Monday and pulled out $400 cash, you know exactly how to categorize it and who you paid and what you bought. Um, some people do it monthly. Some people do it quarterly. And I just find that business owners, just you, you're not going to know where you spent that $400 two months ago. So I like to do it every single week. You're going to hear from me. Okay, I want to stop the video real quick because I talked about a lot of things and I want to explain a couple things real quick. So QuickBooks Online is my software of choice and that really is for no reason other than the fact that I just really enjoy working with QuickBooks Online. I think it's easier to work with than QuickBooks Desktop. And so I tell people right at the beginning, just in case they're using QuickBooks Desktop, I basically end the sales call right there. If they're not willing to transition from desktop to online, we, I literally will not work with you. So it's kind of like my niche. QuickBooks Online is like my niche. I don't work with Zero. I don't work with Wave. I don't work with FreshBooks. I don't work with QuickBooks Desktop. I don't do anything other than QuickBooks Online. And the biggest reason I do that, I like the software, but also I am an expert in QuickBooks Online. I can solve anybody's problem. And that's kind of a selling point. I, I literally tell people I'm a QuickBooks expert. I can solve all of your problems. I've seen it all. There's nothing I can't do. And so I'm able to work super efficiently inside of that software. Okay, the other thing I said uh, is about categorizing transactions. And my main point here for categorizing transactions and telling people that I do this 
is I want them to know that I'm going to be working on their books every single week because so many people come to me and say, hey, my CPA like hasn't done my bookkeeping all year and now it's time for taxes and they said that I had to go on an extension and I just want someone to do my bookkeeping. And then the other thing that I, that I stress big is communication. If you talk to any business owner, they're probably going to tell you they don't have great communication with their CPA. Most CPAs, for whatever reason, I don't know, I guess they're too good to talk to their clients. They're too busy. I don't know what they have going on, but so many of my business owners are like, I call my CPA, I email my CPA, I get his secretary, I get his office administrator, I get his manager, but I can never actually talk to the dude who's doing my books. It's so frustrating. I just have a couple questions. So I stress that I'm going to communicate with you every single week. I'm going to be asking you questions. I'm going to be in touch. I'm going to be in your books on a weekly basis. And this just reassures the client that I'm going to have effective communication with them. I'm easy to get a hold of. If they ever need me, they can call me, they can email me. We are going to be working together. Okay, let's get back to the call. Um, you know, usually on a weekly basis. And then at the end of the month, I just need your bank statements and your credit card statements and your loan statements. And I reconcile your accounts. That's the most important step just to make sure penny for penny, everything is perfectly accurate in your books. And then obviously generating your, fi your financial statements. That's probably what everybody really cares about. So if you were my client in the first five to 10 days of every single month, you'll be getting your profit and loss from the month before. So if you were my client, you would already have January and February profit and loss for 2023 in your inbox. And finally, if you want me to go back and do like a cleanup of 2021 or 2022, um, I can do the entire year. And it usually takes me like seven to 10 days, as long as you and I can communicate effectively. So if you're looking to get the entire year last year done pretty quickly, then I'll be able to help you out with that as well. And that's the nice thing about hiring a bookkeeper. Like you're probably stressed out right now. You probably just want it to be done and taken care of. Like if you hire me or any bookkeeper, it'll just be put on autopilot. You won't have to worry about it. It'll all be current. It'll all be accurate. And, um, and you'll be able to see your financial statements. Like that's what's most important. See your financial statements, know how much money you spent, how much money you made, and then ultimately file your taxes at the end of the year. So if you did want to hire me, um, my average client pays between like $200 and $400 per month, um, usually like, you know, 250, 300 bucks a month, but that all depends on the size and complexity of your business. So if you want me to give you a quote, I just need to either be invited to your QuickBooks online account and, or preferably see your three most recent bank statements. I know you said your business is kind of, um, hasn't really been operating. So if you want me to give you a quote for the entire year to do the catch up for 2022, I will need to see all 12 months of your bank statements and credit card statements and loan statements, like any documents you have for the, that'll help explain the transactions and I'll be able to give you an exact quote. Like I said, um, you know, as long as we can work together effectively, it'll take like seven to 10 days to do the entire year of bookkeeping. Yeah, as soon as we, as soon as we hang up on this call, I'll send you an email. I'll, I'll, let, I'll just summarize the phone call that we had and I will give you instructions on how to invite me to your QuickBooks account. And then I'll also let you know the documents I need that way you have it all right there in writing. Um, yeah, I can also share my CPA's contact information. You can, you can work with him or you can choose your own CPA. You can do your own taxes. Um, whatever works best for you, but I can absolutely share my, my CPA's contact information. Billing would all be done separately directly through him. And then taxes are done like kind of separately. Like I always compare, like I'm the nurse and he's the doctor. Like I take care of you on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. I do the checkups. I pre prepare, prepare the financial statements. And then the CPA, the doctor, he just kind of writes the prescription. He files the taxes and then, and then you're all set. Okay. So that was it. That was the sales call. And I will tell you, I actually ended up landing that client. They paid me $300 a month for all of 2022. So I actually ended up getting $3,600 to do their bookkeeping for 2022. So you saw a live sales call that turned into a client and they're also hiring me to continue doing their bookkeeping in 2023. I'm going to recap the conversation real quick. If you want to learn how to sell and grow your bookkeeping business the way I do, there's actually a link in the description below. You can schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me. And if you like these videos, subscribe to my channel because I'm posting tips and tricks every single day to help you start and grow your bookkeeping business. Okay, so basically, in summary, this is kind of the outline for the whole sales call. First of all, I tell them that I work exclusively with QuickBooks Online. And then I tell them my three-step process. I categorize your transactions every single week. I reconcile your accounts. So I will need your bank statements and I send you your financial statements, your profit and loss on a monthly basis. The most important thing is I will communicate with you every single week, every single month. You will be hearing from me. I will do your books on a weekly basis. I'll send you financial statements on a monthly basis. And then once I tell them kind of what I do and how I work, 
then I give them a rough quote because I want people to know that I charge between like $250 and $400 a month because some people are looking for very cheap services and I just want to eliminate that right from the beginning. Basically, the conversation stops if that's too expensive. Sorry, but I already have so many clients and I really don't take on anybody for less than $250 a month. So I tell them the quote and then finally I tell them that I will follow up with them. I get their email address if I don't have it already. As soon as we hang up, I send them a summary of everything I just told them. That way they have it in writing, they have an email, and then finally, finally, after the same day follow up, the next day I'll follow up, the next day I'll follow up, I will continue to follow up until they either hire me or they tell me no thanks.